What's going on people? It's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to create a Word document and add a table from a dynamic range. So let's get into it. Alright, so on the left, I've got my VBA editor. On the right, I've got um, some data from different countries. And let's go ahead and get into the sub. So let's go ahead and call it add table to Word dynamic range and we'll declare our variables we've got object word object doc object selection and then we've also got i as an integer j as an integer um, ws as a worksheet and then we're going to do row count as integer and then um, column count as integer all right so let's set worksheet equal to this workbook and then this sheet here so we've got uh, WS equals this workbook sheets and it's titled sheet one so let's do that and then we're going to activate the sheet so WS activate and then now we want to get our row count so we're going to be counting down from a1 so we're going to do worksheet function counta range and we're going to start at a1 and then range a1 end and since we're counting from here down for the rows we want XL down and then let's go ahead and copy this since it's so long copy paste and now we want our column count which is the same thing we're going to count from a1 and then over to the right for the columns so this will be XL to right all right now we want to set object word equal to create object and we want to access the word application and we want to set object doc equal to object word documents add and then we're going to set object selection equal to object word selection alright so now let's keep going and what we're going to do now is with object word we're going to make it visible so set visible equal to true and we're also going to activate it so that it appears in the front so we're going to activate and now we need to name our table here so um, let's go ahead and call it country so set country table equal to object doc dot tables add and then we're going to do object selection range and then we're going to need two parameters here which is the number of rows and the number of columns so that means we just need to put our row count here and our column count here so in this case the row count would be six and the column count would be three um, but be, because we're counting them um, dynamically it doesn't matter how many rows or how many columns the table is the macro will automatically pick that up for you so now we with country table and let's end this with and inside of country with country table we want to have a for loop so for i equals one 
it's a row count and then we're going to do next I and then inside of this for loop we're going to do for J equals 1 to column count next J and inside of here is where we're going to have sales which references the country table so country table dot sales or not sales but sell and it's going to be I J range insert after and then we're going to do we're going to access access the sheet here so we're going to be inserting cells from this sheet into our table in, in word so ws dot cells and then i j and we want the text from those cells okay so let's go ahead and run this and see what we get okay something happened let's go ahead and see what error we got oh, okay that's about after wrong sorry about that let's see let's try it again okay nice so here we go here's our table in word um, so let's add a little bit of formatting here to make it aesthetically pleasing. Um, let's first of all, let's add some borders. So right here above the for loop, we can do with, so country table dot borders. And then we can end the width. And then inside of here, we're gonna do enable. So we wanna enable the border, so that's gonna be true. And then we're also going to have an outside color. Let's make it RGB 000, which is black for now. And then an inside color. We'll also make it RGB 000. And then we can also like change the color of the first row. So let's look at different colors and pick one. Um, so I'll go to more colors here. And how about a nice blue color? What's this one? 0, 153, 255. So we've got, so I don't forget, 0, 153, 255. All right, um, so it's rows, the first row, and then shading, background, pattern, color, equals RGB, and then we've got our 0, 153, 255. All right, so I just commented this one, so take that out. So let's run it again. Check that out. Looks a lot better now. Cool. So, um, and real quick. So, with the inside color and outside color for the borders, let's switch them up real quick just so you can see um, what distinguishes it to. So let's just make the inside border the same color as the first row. So we can distinguish between the two. And you see that? So this outside is black and then everything on the inside is blue with the borders. And um, also the main point of this video is to show that it's dynamic. So if I were to add um, Some more columns, some more rows. We can see that the macro will automatically update without without us having to update the code. The macro will pick up on the extra rows. You see that, and the extra columns, and it's all reflected here. So I could take this out. Run 
it again. And now we've got two columns and a bunch of rows. So yeah, that's all I got for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.